15-piece multi-purpose screwdriver and saw set. Our clearance sale price on this is the best I've ever seen. It's $13.47. Now, any item that happens to be clearance sale priced in any of our programs uh, between now and January 2nd has an opportunity to be able to present it with, with uh, six easy pay payments. So that's what we're doing. That payment is $2.25. $13 and change for general tools multi-purpose yeah, that's, that's unheard of oh for sure how you doing my friend i'm doing well uh this is mark good to see you. mark is a friend he's also a tool guy and he's a serious tool guy so he brings me stuff that really works and general tools is an american company that has been the innovator of the basics they make a screwdriver better for they make sure. a saw better yeah. yeah and i like that they combine the two yeah and you know they're the name behind the name of so many of those other yeah. brand names that you've heard they were making the tools for a very long time behind them this is a great example of a great tool just to have around the house for all those things we need to do it is a complete screwdriver set all the bits store in the bottom so <coughs> you're never going to be without a bit it's always going to be right here they've all yeah. pop right into the top but what's really nice about this in addition to this you can pull out the screwdriver holder yep. and you have a complete saw set because these are standard saw blades that will fit in there to cut everything. These are, those are, are the types of saws yep. used in a piece of equipment called a saws all. Right. And, and they are available at any hardware store. Right. But the fact that you get three with it is nice. You get one that's a wood cutting blade for rough cutting. Mm -hmm. And you saw on the videotape, cutting a branch with this thing. Uh, it'll do that easily. Uh, you also have a hacksaw blade in there, and then you've got a general purpose blade. But the idea of combining these elements, I had never thought of it before. Yeah, it's really nice because no matter what you have yeah. to face, you know you're going to have the right tool for the job. It starts its life as a standard screwdriver, right? right. It's a very good I'll, standard I'll screwdriver, up. right? Yep. So whether you're doing, it comes with Phillips, and it's again, it's all stored in the back. Whether you're doing, it's well balanced, I could use it with one hand. Phillips, it has two Phillips, it has two slotted, it has two torques, which are becoming very common in, in uh, automotive and in, in appliances. I've even seen them on my son's bike. Yeah. They're, they're invading. Uh, can, can I tell you why? Well, yeah. okay, I'm sorry, you know that, yeah. but I'll say it to the folks at home. Uh, Torx screws were originally invented in the automotive industry. Uh, they were created by headlight lamp manufacturers. And they convinced Ford to use that screw to mount the lenses for headlights with the idea that it was, it's so easy to change a headlight that any guy with Anyone a screwdriver do was doing it. So they changed the screw so you had to have that screwdriver and they didn't make them available. So that meant that you had to go to a Ford dealership to get your headlamps replaced and now you when don't. they burned out and now you don't. <laughs> All right. So now that Torx screw is becoming uh, readily available on so many things, but you've got to have sure. a, a, a separate screwdriver for it. You, and now you have two bits with a very common size. Yeah. I don't know if you saw, but while you were talking, I, I turned this into something that gives you so much more torque. So if you need to tighten something, using your wrist is hard. Yeah. Using this this way with a 60 degree bend is now a lot easier to tighten and break something free. Yeah. And once it's in this position, there's a simple little chuck here. It says lock and open. That's it. You twist it to open. Yeah, I like that. You take that out, you put in any blade. Yeah. In this case, we're going to cut some PVC, some plastic. All you right. put it in, you lock it. Lock and now you have, and look, let me show you real quick. Here's a standard hacksaw, right? That's the position for cutting. Yeah. Right? The problem with this is sometimes you don't have the clearance to use a hacksaw. Mm -hmm. With this, you get the same position, but you have no clearance. You have to worry about it. So if you're getting in tight for the, whether it's uh, trimming your Christmas tree, yep, yep, yep. or you're trying to get with the branches that are too big for a lopping yeah. shear, or you drywall. So many times the, the tool, and I'm guilty of it, man. So much of the tools that I've got in my shop are overkill. Overkill. Where That's a good way to put it. It's just too big a tool to do the job. Yep. And these blades are readily available blades at any any big hardware store or the big box stores. Well, they are. You can, and like you said, they come for all the the big expensive yeah. saws. These blades are what fit that. And it's a nice clean cut, right? So it's even if you cut. have if you have a hole in your drywall, you may not be able to just throw some spackle in there. No. You may have to clean it out, make it square, and put a piece. One in of there. the blades is a drywall Specifically. specific blade. Right. And what makes it different is this point at the end. So it makes it so easy to poke it through the drywall to be able to cut out for that new electrical outlet. So true. And or you to know, be it able could to be, fix a hole. It could be thick rubber, it could be plaster, yeah. it could be all those different things. You have a saw blade to cut it. And taking it on and out, in and out is super easy. It's a lock and it's an open. And there, there's a great example, like I said, that was probably too thick for well, the lopping shear. Well, how, many, right? how, how many saws do you have in your garage that will not fit in a bait and tackle box? 
Oh, that's so true. Right? right? That's a really good way to put it. Okay. It is very portable. Sometimes the best fishing holes in the world, you, you got to get through some pretty big scrub brush to get there. So this is small enough to, to be in that kitchen drawer, to be on a workbench, in a toolbox, but it also goes in other areas. Yeah. I, th I think I'm a firm believer that you should have tools with you uh, in every vehicle too. For sure, because you never know what you're going to yeah. face. You never know when you need to cut something or tighten something or remove something. My wife hit a deer recently, piece was hanging Ooh. off the car. It okay. was Torx. I had a Torx yep, screwdriver yep, yep. just to loosen it so she could drive home. So you don't know what you're gonna face, but I always say to people, what's in your kitchen drawer right now? What's, in, what's under your sink right now? Right. Is it maybe one small size Phillips and a slotted and you're gonna come across a situation where you need something else? This has everything. Two Torx, two slotted, two Phillips, even a square recess, or a, it's called Robertson, which yeah. is becoming more and more common. Especially for knock down furniture and the, you have to Exactly, stuff. precisely, yeah. because it, you can tighten it really well. And I, Ikea was built on that on square, that style on that, that is drive. so true right yeah because you need to tighten it up because it's furniture yep and if you need to tighten this is where the 60 degree bend is really beautiful because now i'm not counting on i'll put it back the way it was i'm not counting on having good twist right good torque in my wrist yeah, a handshake is the strongest grip that a man has when you can grip a tool like a handshake you just increased your own power look at the difference between that grip and that grip. That's how you would have to hold so true. a regular screwdriver. Right, and trying to twist, you don't yeah. have the strength versus, if, especially if you're trying to break something free that may be rusted shut, yeah. or it's just over tightened, or you want to really bear down, for instance, you're I putting up hinges. I in a 200-year-old house. I don't oh, have boy. anything that's not that's rusted. That's not rusted shut, I would yeah. imagine so. Yeah. But you can see, like here, this is a hinge. You want your hinges on tight. I could tighten it, but now I can really wrench it tight comfortably because I have these 60 degree bend in the I, handle. I'll tell you something real quick. Uh, we were replacing some interior doors in the house. Mm -hmm. And I, I mean, I got paint that's this thick because oh it's goodness. layer upon layer Been upon there layer. there for years and years and, and years. And so I started taking some of the hardware off these <laughs> old doors. And I thought, you know what? I bet that's beautiful brass. So I'm just gonna strip them down. They weren't brass. What were they? They were bronze. Wow, that is old. Yeah. Oh my it goodness. Was, and they're gorgeous. <laughs> I'll bet. They're gorgeous. That was a good choice. Uh, do you remember the, like these, the old glass yep, doorknobs? Yeah. That's just cool stuff. Everybody needs tools in their life. For sure. Even if you're, you don't consider yourself a tool person at all. So get something that's good. This polymer, by the way, uh, unlike wood, won't crack, won't dry out. Uh, you buy it, you're gonna have this thing for a lifetime. The manufacturer's warranty is a lifetime. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and that's, that's general tools. They've been around for over a century. Yep. The, as I said earlier, they're the name behind the name. They've There's, been making tools uh, for other brands for years. It, you and I both, because you represent the company, I certainly mm -hmm. uh, endorse what they make. People at home, even if they're not tool people, would know the brand names yes. that General Tools has manufactured tools for. for the sure. tool industry, uh, and it's always been this way, it's always been this way, has actually been a series of a few companies that put everybody else's name on their stuff. Right. Here's a good example. Sears Craftsman, great tool company. And we all know it. Sears didn't manufacture anything. Right. Uh, so true. There are appliances that, that we all knew. We all know the We're brand. all made For by sure. other brands. Uh, I used to travel down to Gastonia, South Carolina, to a socket company that made all the sockets for, for all Sears. The Hmm. Uh, General Tools is like that. They're a company that makes great tools. And it's now really nice to be able to promote them as a brand name instead of their innovations being used by everybody else. Yeah, and they're, they're in, that's a great way to put it, innovative, right? Yeah. They're innovative. They take a standard problem, a standard pull like uh, a product. Like a screwdriver that hasn't changed in 100 years. Exactly. But and now a you, simple 70 degree bend on it. And you used and to say you've got for years, right? Three you, times the torque. You don't need to buy, all you're changing is the end. You don't need to buy a full set of, so of screwdrivers. Right. Yep. All you need is an end. Yep. And now you're getting all the ends. And by the way, there's even a socket holder here. So if you need yeah. to tighten down um, a lag bolt or nuts or something with a hex head, you can put a socket on here as well and it's all stored right in the handle, so it's with you no matter what. And by the way, it comes with a case, a pouch. Oh, I, I forgot about right the here. case, yep. Yeah, so it can store anywhere, and I can take it yeah. with me everywhere. Let me try the yeah. saw blade, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just lock it in. Yep. Go with this one. Yep, twist it and till it it's nice down, and tight. Locks in. Locked it in. And now you've got, again, a blade that you use for cutting through. In this case, it's PVC, which is a relatively soft material. But these blades are available at any home center whatsoever. I should lock the bench down. I'm getting through this. I like it for the idea of if you're camping, that you can go ahead 
and cut like a tree branch. Yeah, oh yeah. It's great for tree branches. It's a black one, and it, it's written right on there, by the way. It says, this is for wood, this is for metal, this is for PVC, this is for uh, drywall. It'll say right on there, so you're, if you're unsure which blade to use, it's, it guides you right through it. That's fun. I like that. <laughs> uh, you want to hang around a little bit longer? Love to. All right. Uh, we've got more stuff coming your way as I continue. Two hours of At Home with Dan. Don't forget the Air Innovations humidifier that we have. That's their smaller, more compact version, but it gets the job done. It pumps up a lot of humidity. 